everybody, we're finally back with another video. Hope everybody's doing all right. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that uh, one of our main reasons for our absence on our U YouTube channel lately is because we've uh, finally posted all the 2020 snakes for sale. Um, so if you go and look at our Morph Market store, uh, we've got about 100 snakes left. Um, we posted about 200 uh, 10 days ago or two weeks ago, something like that. So they're moving fast. So if you want any snakes from Prismatic Reptiles, go and check those out. Um, we're not going to have anything else until uh, probably June, July, August uh, time period, 2021. That is except for ball pythons. Um, so far, we've got 10 clutches of ball pythons in the incubator. Uh, we've got many more to come, which is why we uh, grabbed this guy and we're getting that set up. I'll probably do a video on that, um, how to make an incubator out of a refrigerator. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen that on YouTube, but you haven't seen it prismatic style, so we'll try to spice it up and make it interesting. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, we got these new shirts. Um, we just re-upped and uh, got new inventory for all of our sizes and colors. So we got black back, we got gray back, and then this is the olive green that we were wanting for a while. So check those out. Um, we got some hoodies made. So a couple folks put in pre-made or uh, pre-orders and uh, they're going to get their hoodies. This is what the men's hoodie looks like. We've got two of the large size that I went ahead and bought. Um, in case somebody wants to buy one that has not pre-ordered, um, they are $65 for men's, $55 for women's. Uh, we're shipping one to Georgia today, and that was like $7.40 for shipping. So uh, shipping's on top of that cost, obviously. Shirts are $20. Bucks. Um, shipping on top of that, it's like 5 bucks, something like that. Um, so check those out. Uh, we're getting an Etsy store set up, but just message me on either YouTube or on my Facebook page, Prismatic Reptiles, um, or even on Instagram. And we'll get you set up for now. Um, I wanted to introduce this video a little bit um, because I've been trying to make a video about um, feeding tricks for sing uh, for king snakes that need um, scenting or uh, just different methods and techniques for king snakes uh, because they can be tricky to get feeding, especially the Mexicana and Montane king snakes. So I've taken several clips over the last few months. Um, I'm finally just going to put them out and uh, just see how they do. Um, it's hard to make a video that encompasses all of these things. Uh, so we may do some more later on, but um, make sure to watch until the end because there's a bonus clip about how to do boiled, uh, boiled pinky mice for your uh, finicky or your just new baby king snakes that need to start feeding. So um, I'm going to check my little thing here. Looks like I've got everything. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out. Oh, I did want to mention that we're going to get some beanies and masks uh, with Prismatic Reptiles logos. So just kind of let me know if there's any interest in that. Um, you know, we're going to need face coverings for uh, an indeterminate period, it seems like. So I'm going to get some uh, face coverings with Prismatic Reptiles logos. Uh, I think some beanies. Maybe we'll do some baseball caps, that type of thing. Um, so anyway, check out the uh, scented video. Um, you'll notice in the video there are a lot of times where this lizard slurry that I'm using, um, kind of, there's, there's a, it's a double-edged sword. It does really well, um, you know, getting snakes enticed, enticed to eat. But the problem is you kind of have to stick it on top of the pinky, and so that makes it possible for the snake to just pull off the lizard, um, lizard goop and eat that and not the pinky. So that's one drawback to it, and you'll see that a few times throughout the video. But, uh, I mean, otherwise I think it's a lot more... Um, successful than using a live lizard that's just dry or using a uh, frozen lizard that is dry or even if you cut the skin off and you uh, rub it against the wet part. Same thing. Um, I think that this lizard slurry is the way to go. As far as I'm concerned, I've, I've uh, been thinking about doing it for years and I finally did it. So um, check that out. It's essentially scented and feeding lizard parts in one and then, um, you know, attaching a piece of lizard skin. So anyway, check it out. Uh, very successful. Really glad that we did it. Helped us out a lot. So hopefully it helps you guys too. All right, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. All right, I think I've got a snake that's going to take a trick. The other snakes in the same clutch, so the siblings to the snake that I'm going to try, have been taking to um, tricks pretty well. So I've got a little baby western fence lizard in my hand here. I've got a little frozen thawed pinky. And then this is sitting in a a little bit of water because it was frozen, so I was just trying to thaw it out a little bit. But this is a lizard slurry or slushy, if you will. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip just the tip. I'll just show you. Dip the tip of 
this pinky in there. Push the nose. That gives you enough leverage to come over here to get a little piece of lizard skin and it'll stick on. We've got two pieces. And guys, there's a reason that I didn't clean up any of this stuff for this little clip. Because this is exactly how it looks when you're tube feeding and doing tricks on animals. So I've got carnivore care, carnivore care, carnivore care. I've got a clutch of eggs that was just hatched. These are Mexican black king snakes. So there's albumin in there that I've heard has been working. Bob Bickler came out with that tip and Tyler Kennedy told me about it. Um, I've got my little baby lizards. Um, I'm just scenting with those guys. I'm not trying to feed them off. I've got some live mice. I've got a larger adult, yep, can't open that, adult Scoloporus in there. I've got Great Basin Skinks in here. Um, what else? I feel like there's some, oh, boiled pinkies right here. And, uh, yeah, other than like braining pinkies and putting um, snakes in deli cups or paper bags overnight to um, give them light deprivation with like a live pinky. I can't think of any other tricks off the top of my head other than like chicken hearts and stuff like that. So let's see what let's see what we can do. Oh, and this is a hold back, so even more exciting. Oh, so I'm acting a little bit scared of the lizard. Think, what do you think? These are the European leopard line of Nuevo Leon King Snakes. Let me pull this up a little more. And I bought a pair in 2016. They produced for the first time this year and these are my first babies that are pure European leopard lines. So they're pretty cool. I have my own jag line um, that is descended from vivid reptiles and from Joe Forks. Um, he had a female that was very aberrant from a whole bunch of different lines mixed. So this is kind of cool to have an aberrant line from Europe that somebody else has been working on. Oh, this is looking good. Seeing some like short little tongue flicks. Let's see how it reacts to just the lizard. Sometimes you can get them. Ooh, I almost lost that, buddy. Luckily it just sat there, but it could have easily run. Sometimes it's good to just put the lizard itself in front of the snake until it reacts in a way that you think they might feed. And of course it seems like this snake isn't going to cooperate. Come on. What do you think? You don't want to eat a lizard, bro? A lizard? A baby lizard? What else are you going to do? Are you going to survive somehow? <laughs> so something, oh, something else we can do is tease feed this snake because we've got this lizard right here. This is what worked on the last snake. Oh, oh, I lost control. Yep, okay, now that it's bitten the lizard, lost control, that's not what you're supposed to do, if you can avoid it. It's really hard not to, though. Oh, I lost the skin, but you know what, I think it'll still work. As long as the snake can still see and smell this lizard, I'll bet you gonna think that it's still eating the lizard. All right, we're gonna scent this pinky right here. This is my lizard slurry. It's literally seven or eight lizards just ground up in the freezer, or in the blender, I mean, um, and then frozen. I thawed these out. This is only about one fifteenth or sixteenth of what I've got in there. So get that off of here. I like to have just a little bit of that lizard goop on the head. And then 
let's see. You guys can't see this, but right here, oops, that lizard skin. It's nice and moist that I've prepared. Okay, let's feed this to a snake. Alright, let's see what this little barbell has to say. the arm. There you go, dude. Size pinky. That's the problem with giving them too big of a glob of the lizard slurry, is that they can just choose to run with it. See that little bit of stock shed there? We'll give her a soak after she digests that meal. Boom! Very nice. Alright, and here is a ridiculously nice blue Leonis from the Alaska Reptiles line. She has had no meal, no meal, lizard skin with a pinky. Fuse live the, the, be the beginning of December. She took SSJ means scallop scented juice or slurry, and then 12 8 I documented a uh, refusal of life. So let's see what we can do with our lizard slurry over here. I bet we can do pretty damn well. Actually. Have a little bit of material on there, but not too much. Okay, put this down. is something you can do. Kind of like daisy chaining. If you can get them to take a lizard. You can kind of just push the pinky 
These flies are ridiculous, I don't understand. Anyway, there we go. Success. Once again. The slurry. Alright, so I didn't film the take. Because this is the first time I've ever gotten my West Lang Tree babies. To take a meal. All right, guys, so this Applegate right here is incredible, but it has had a spotty pass with feeding. So I did what I was just showing you guys with scenting with this lizard slurry. Let's see what it's gonna do. Why do you have to eat the whole thing, you ding dong? So when that happens, you just have to keep. Keep the pinky in its face. Still has a bunch of lizard scent. Hey, you're not full, are you? Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna come back over here, dunk it in this. It's hard, sorry. I'm filming with one hand and turn to this with another. Hey, no choice. Not that lizard, you gotta eat the mouse too. Oh, eat the mouse too. Yes. Exactly where we're supposed to. The lizard crap on it and
Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to show you how to boil pinkies. Uh, that's one of the tricks that's kind of come out, come about the last few years. Um, I got my pinkies here. Um, I kind of thawed them out a little bit, which I think is not necessarily necessary, but um, I do it just to make sure that they're, you know, when I blanch them, they're not frozen inside at all. So, um, yeah, what you're going to do is get a gross pot from like a thrift store. That's what I did. Um, Make sure that your wife or girlfriend isn't home because this is pretty gross and it kind of stinks. Um, and just toss them in. Okay, this is boiling on high. So I'm going to plop them all in there. Sorry, it's hard to film on selfie mode. You can see that they instantly kind of lose that pink and turn gray. So I, I like blanch mine. I don't boil them um, in a classical sense. Um, you can tell based on how long the video lasts, I guess, how long I do it. I kind of just do it until I think they're ready to go. And, uh, yeah, you'd think that these guys would, like, break apart or something gross like that, but, uh, no, they actually hold together pretty well. Um, okay, I see a couple floating, so I'm gonna take them off. And, uh, I don't take them out until they're, um, cooled off a little bit, so they're gonna keep cooking a little bit more. Um, but anyway. That's how you do it. Hopefully this tip helps you guys. Um, you can use boiled uh, pinkies in addition to other tricks. So you can put a piece of lizard skin on a boiled pinky. Um, you can scent a boiled pinky, all kinds of things. So uh, hope this helps. Uh, you can try it for different species and uh, we'll talk about some other tips. See you guys later.